Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into the part 3 of acrylic application, focusing on two bead acrylic techniques. If you missed part 1 and 2, check the link in the description or the right corner of the video for a smoother learning experience. In this video, we will tackle the two bead acrylic technique on a nail sheet. Don't worry about those tracking acrylic powders. We will show you how to handle them. Check out these two box shaped nails. We are diving into practicing the two bead acrylic extension. Here is the drill. Bead 1 goes on the nail edge and bead 2 near the cuticle. From the cuticle, cover the apex area and then blend bead 1 and bead 2 for a seamless look. Dip your brush into the monomer, remove the axis and focus on the untouched monomer side. Gently tap the brush into the acrylic powder, no dragging. The result? A beautiful bead. For the first edge, go for a smaller or medium side bead on the sheet. Clean the brush, then use it to handle the acrylic flow on the nail. If it goes beyond, gently tap and guide it back into the shape. Now, let's tackle the second bead using the same process. But this time, aim for a bigger bead. Don't remove too much monomer. Pick up that generous bead for bead 2 since it's covering the cuticle and apex area. Apply it on the nail. Gently control the flow with a light touch and tap it back onto the nail if it goes beyond. The trick is to merge bead 1 and bead 2 seamlessly. It should look like one bead formed the entire nail. Easy right? Just keep your hand light and a bit movable. And there you have it. Check out the beauty of 2 bead acrylic. It looks like we have used only one bead to create the entire nail. If you are unsure, I will walk you through the process once again. Let's see how to effortlessly apply the 2 bead acrylic technique. Let's break it down. First, dip your brush in the monomer, remove the axis, then dip into the acrylic powder for a small or medium bead to cover the nail's edge. Tap gently, control the bead and guide it back if it goes out. That's the first box done. Now for the second one, use the same process but with a bigger bead. Apply it on the sheet, clean your brush, dab the bead, cover the cuticle and apex area. And merge it seamlessly with the first bead. It's simple. Merge, cover and it's done. Stay tuned for the upcoming fourth part and the final one bit acrylic. If you found this video helpful, show some love by liking, sharing and subscribing for future updates. Thanks for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed and learned something new.